ready for uh, pork wrap bacon medallions. <laughs> bacon um, wrap bacon. Exactly. Before we do that, I'm going to have Jason, just so we can kind of move along, he's going to shred down these potatoes okay. and add them for our hash. So Lex and I are going to do this. Cool. So here's our pork uh, tenderloins. Mm -hmm. I've kind of taken off extra fat of that. And we have our bacon that's been cooked down. It's not completely crisp because we want it to be pliable so we can wrap it. Oh. So I'm going to have you do this one. I'm going to do that one. Sure. Uh, you're going to wrap it all the way up. Okay. And then we're going to cut it in between. That way we get perfect sizes. And then we're going to uh, season them and then we're going to sizzle them over there. So as you can see, we're just kind of going down the way there. And then that's going to give us the perfect size medallion. Okay. We got the, uh, the nice thick bacon for this one. Yeah, you did. These are look, look pretty good. Pretty thick bacon. I haven't had that in a long time, trying, oh, yeah. to, trying to do the healthy stuff. <laughs> and uh, just to tell you about the seasoning we're yeah. doing, uh, it's basically just uh, seasoned salt with some um, oregano mm -hmm. and some basil, okay. garlic. I threw a little bit of uh, paprika because I really like cooking with paprika. Mm -hmm. So speaking of fat, actually not speaking of fat at all, uh, <laughs> you obviously work out. So I'll tell me, it. you try to, tell me. Get the in here and <laughs> So tell me about it, like do you guys have a gym here? Like what's going on with I that? I know she's um, flexing right now. <laughs> Gotta yes, show them off, exactly. right? Exactly, we've been flexing the whole show. <laughs> the whole show. I don't know if you know that. So exhausted uh, right now. <laughs> exactly, I did a protein drink after this. But uh, no, we have uh, gyms at all of our stations. It's mm -hmm. pretty much part of our job to stay fit because mm -hmm. Uh, the stuff we do, you want to have um, just good cardio and mm -hmm. just, that's why we eat healthy. Because back in the day, a lot of heart attacks would happen mm -hmm. in the fire service. So that's really? why we're kind of changing it around just because of the stressful situations you're in. And so it's definitely something we try to do on our off days and on our on, on, our on days. Mm -hmm. So um, that aside, we're going to start cutting these up. So, got a big size knife here. Okay. Got them all laced together nice and pretty. You're in charge. So, yeah, I'll be doing that. So, <laughs> perfect size medallions Ooh. here. Okay. So, it's going to look something like that. Oh. What I'm going to have you do while I'm doing that mm -hmm. is season them. All you have to do is just kind of get a little bit of everything in there. Okay. Kind of dip it in like that and like that. And that should be good. Oh, all right. perfect. So, I'll be setting it back on here. Okay. Don't worry about contaminating it because it's all going to be cooked. Yeah. We're all getting it in the oven anyway. All right. Probably going to sear each side for four to five minutes. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to leave them in that cast iron that we seared them in and put them right in the oven. I like to use clarified butter, which is basically cooked down butter. Mm -hmm. So it takes the dairy off the top. You can make it yourself, oh. but I found out they have in a store. It's also known as ghee. And that's kind of like an Indian term for it. I've but heard it as ghee. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. It's basically clarified or uh, cooked down, but it's very, very rich in buttery flavor. And so, yep. So we're going to put a little that in there, amazing. down there, and a little bit of olive oil. Okay. That's a new one. Okay. <laughs> Gotta use those muscles. Yes. <laughs> Alright, we're going to sear those mm -hmm. on each side for like four minutes, and then they're going to go in the oven. Okay. How long are they going to go in the oven for? Uh, like 20, 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. The thing about uh, pork is people are always so worried about getting sick and they tend to overcook it, and you don't want that. You want it just barely done, and it will continue to cook. Nowadays, the, uh, they're so uh, strict on pork regulation oh. that it's, it's, you're not going to get sick from it if you even undercook a little bit. That was back in the day that people have been getting sick from pork spare. Mm -hmm. While we're doing that, I'm going to throw on here the, uh, the hash. So that I'm going to start good. with a little bit of garlic here. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that was probably really loud. <laughs> No worries. All right. <laughs> so get that going just a little bit ahead of time. And we're going to put this on there. Okay. Okay. Get the right pencil here. All right. Get that going nice and spread out there. Right. It should mm -hmm. be nice too because that uh, leftover bacon juice on there will be good flavor. Oh, yeah. That'll definitely be good. So you don't want to overcook this. You don't want to get brown too much. So it's just about there. Throw that on there. Ooh. That's one heck of a lot. I guess you're kind of used to. This is nothing. Making... This is for a few people. For ten guys, you need a full space. <laughs> it's hard. So just kind of get that going. Mm -hmm. And if we need to cook it faster, we can always pour water on there and, and flash, uh, flash cook it, like really? steam it. So that's a quicker way to do potatoes. So this is ready to go. We're gonna throw it in the oven at 400. Okay. Double check that. Okay. So this is gonna go in there. Step back here. The nice thing about cooking with cast iron, not only does it get a good flavor on there, uh -huh. because of the 
seasoning, put it salty, you just go right in the oven. That's perfect. All right, we'll put check on that in about 15 to 20 minutes. So our peppers are ready, so we're gonna take them out of the bag, okay? Mm -hmm. And all we have to do is peel off the char and get to the good flavor underneath there. Okay. So you just kind of do it with your fingers. You can always take it over the sink if you have to. But you're basically just, if you want to help, you grab that yeah, one right there. absolutely. You're just taking off all that old waxy shell and oh, it just comes those. right off. Exactly. So then we'll set those over here, mm -hmm. and those are just going to be diced up and thrown in here. Well, the hash is about ready. I'm ready to fold the peppers. And the reason I do these differently, like I said, is these cook uh, take a lot longer to cook. I don't mm -hmm. want to overcook the peppers. So once it's about done, then you fold them in. So those are going to go in there. Okay. It makes it look nice and pretty. It's mm -hmm. a good color. Very colorful. But if you don't mind, would you stir that in a little bit? Absolutely. I'm going to saute so a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Keep it nice and hot, and you just throw it in there. I like broccoli because it's a little sweeter taste than regular bro uh, broccoli. Oh, okay. So it's got it's basically the baby flor florets or whatever you want to call it before yeah. it becomes full grown broccoli. And I just throw a little bit of sea salt, and it's good, it's delicious. It's a great side, good green for any meal, like asparagus or anything else. Yeah. It just kind of adds to it. Here's my reach here, a little bit of pepper. And I like sea salt. Excuse me. Sure. There it is. And you don't want to overcook this. Al dente is good. Mm -hmm. You don't want it soggy or limp or whatever. Oops, caught it. <laughs> so, broccolini is ready. Hash is done. That's just staying warm here. Looks good. Check the pork. All right. Perfect. Ooh, I'm throw that out here. And the other one. All right. That's perfect. That looks so good. 